Six, a former Prince George's County police officer and deputy Homeland Security chief is back home with his wife and daughter tonight, 13 years after he was first jailed in the death of a furniture delivery man. Keith Washington had been sentenced to 45 years for manslaughter. Bruce Lachan reports he was released from prison on Wednesday, thanks in part to the Georgetown Prisons and Justice Initiative. Feels good. I want to thank everybody. Uh, back with my, my family, my wife, and my daughter. Keith Washington oh, talking you. with supporters from the Georgetown Prisons and Justice Initiative just after his release from a Maryland prison Wednesday. I think, okay, they're beating him, these two guys. He's in the middle, they're on either side of him. Washington and his wife had always maintained he had acted in self-defense when he shot and killed a Marlowe Furniture so delivery just, man really in his Akakik home in 2007. Before I knew it, the guy hit me in the back of the head, and then White punched me from the front. Washington said the delivery man and his partner were upstairs when they should have been downstairs, that he confronted them when they came out of his daughter's room, and that they attacked him. My wife is there, my six-year-old daughter is there. When I pull my gun, I'm, I'm squatted down. They're on top of me. I think they would have killed him. But in 2008, a Prince George's County jury found Washington guilty of manslaughter in the death of Brandon Clark, largely on the basis of testimony from the other delivery man, Robert White. I accept his apology and uh, justice had prevailed. A judge gave Washington far more time than even the prosecutor had recommended. 45 years in prison. We're bloody and we're unbound. Now, thanks in part to a documentary produced by Georgetown students, a judge has agreed to reduce Washington's sentence to 20 years, effectively time served. He will now spend his 60th birthday home with his friends and family. It feels great. It feels like I've been waiting on this for 13 years. Bruce Lachan, WUSA 9. Marty Tankleff, who is Washington's lawyer, says prosecutors did not object to reducing his sentence.